Okay, let's see. Today's date, it is August 18th of 2018. It's 1.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, this is just going to be a little update on what's going on. Uh, Health-wise, I'm still as weak as I have been. My leg is not, I think the infection's gone. Uh, my legs don't look too good, but the swelling has gone down in my legs and not totally, but quite a bit in my feet. I've lost 20 pounds. But the uh, thing with my taste uh, buds are still messed up, but it, I think it's getting better. But the entire six days I was in the hospital, which was about a month ago, that was absolute hell. I couldn't taste anything. I couldn't eat anything. I felt like I was going to vomit the entire time that I was there. I was on the verge of vomiting the entire time. And when I came home, the medication had affected my my tongue and my taste buds and what have you. But I don't I don't have the nausea uh, that I had. But uh, the entire time that I was six days that I was in the hospital, I lost zero weight. I came home. And uh, I guess because I was retaining fluid, I uh, came home and I've lost about 20 pounds or more. Uh, why is there a refrigerator on? Well, anyway, I'm home. I've been home a month or so. Uh, I can taste some things. Uh, strawberry malts and strawberry ice cream taste like strawberry malts and strawberry ice cream. Coke is not 100%. It's strange. Uh, I just purchased this uh, refrigerator. It's a small, well, here we can see it, a 2.6 cubic and I purchased it for my room here. This is my bedroom, my office, my computer room, as you probably, if you've been watching my videos, you know. And uh, we have a refrigerator, of course, that's, you know, here at the apartment that, the apartment that's, you know, supply. And uh, I think all of them are old. And, uh, it doesn't really, I mean, it, it just doesn't keep things cold the way I like them, especially for, you know, cans of pop and things like that. So, and <coughs> we purchased an ice machine. We have a small ice machine in the, uh, in there that we have to add water to it, but it makes ice. Um, now, of course, the freezer on the, on the refrigerator that we're, you know, it works. But uh, anyway, I ordered this for my room, and uh, it's prime, so it's going to be here eventually, but not like same day or next day or whatever. Um, I had one like this uh, before many, many years ago. I had it at home. Then when I worked hospital security at a place where I was there was just two of us working there. We had our own office. Two of us working at the same time. Uh, I took that refrigerator in, and I was there t 10 years. And then when I left, I wasn't sure if I'd come back or not. But I just said, now this is, you know, I'll leave this here for the, you know, security officers here. And then eventually I did come back after two years and worked another year there. And then when I, I retired, uh, again, I just let them know, you know, that's, that's, uh, same thing when I went to that same hospital system, when I first went there, they, it was a larger security department than I'd worked at, and they didn't have a, uh, scanner in the, in their, in any of their vehicles, 
And it was like, I, why don't you have a scanner? Oh, well, the boss won't spend the money or whatever. I said, I got one. And one of the guys there was, I was into electronics, but he was into electronics and doing a handyman. And he installed it, did a professional job. And after that, eventually when that uh, scanner broke or whatever, or they got it, the hospital went ahead and bought scanners for the, both of the patrol cars. But eventually, uh, KCPD uh, went to where they scrambled their signals. And at that time, that hospital was in the worst part of Kansas City for crime. And uh, so the police uh, let our dispatch have one of the walkie-talkies. So, But when you were in dispatch, it was you were right there in the emergency room door you couldn't hear, phones were ringing, it was useless, and so the, our patrol cars we had, you know, had no no radios in them to know what was going on. Uh, uh, I told this story before, when I, the first hospital I worked at, I had one of the Radio Shack four channel crystal radios in them. And actually, uh, that at that time was the worst part of Kansas City that I was working at. And that scanner actually saved my life. I was getting ready to step off. It was a one-way street, very narrow. And I was just getting ready to step and cross the street or whatever, and I heard uh, 133 car chase, Linwood and Wabash. And I stopped, and then bang, the car being chased went by. And then the police car that was chasing uh, was right behind. Both of them probably, the, the first car would, would have hit me for sure. Maybe it would have just, <laughs> you know, or maybe I would have got hit by the second car, by the police car also. So, big fan of, well, of course, I've always been into radio communications. I did a, uh, starting in 1955 when I was in grade school, I started shortwave listening, listening to radio calls, doing all that kind of stuff. I did a radio program that was broadcast around the world over WRUL radio to Europe, Africa, and Latin America two or three times a week. So I've always been into radios and scanners and all that. That was before computers, at least before computers for us common people. Um, see how I was talking about refrigerators and then I, so, well anyway, I was, that's what I was going to say too. I, uh, at that small hospital, I brought in a scanner Actually, I think before I brought the refrigerator and set it up, and we used that. And uh, then there again, when I left the hospital, when I moved and when I retired and whatever, I said, no, you know, keep the scanner, you know. So, uh, so this will be my small, second small refrigerator. Didn't use it a lot at the... Uh, uh, at security. I'm not sure about the other guy working. But uh, I took out, which I don't usually do, I took out the, because it was cheap, the uh, two-year protection for $8. I also, and you guys that have been following me are going to give me hell for this because you, you've been doing that all along. I also ordered an inexpensive, this is a most inexpensive because in the past I've paid uh, 150 200 280 for office chairs and they just don't hold up one thing the leather comes off all over the place very quickly and then the hydraulic thing just gives out uh, I had the casters on the bottom break uh, 240 is my the high, the most I've weighed. I'm down to 220 now. And uh, I think this is 250 weight on it, 265. But in the past, you guys have, and you're correct. You know, hey, buy a 
you know, an expensive chair, and it'll last. I really can't afford to buy these expensive chairs, but I know I end up spending more than if I bought one chair. I thought about, like, buying three of these things, you know, just put one together and just use the other two. Maybe put the other two boxes over there and set my refriger new refrigerator on top of them. And this might just be a, you know, you I pay so much a month for various things. I might just consider this. I mean, I wouldn't want to be spending $50 a month on a chair. But the chair hopefully should last longer, you know. But since I may get August 23rd, today's August 18th. Uh, what else did I want to? Anyway, I got the chair will be coming. Got the refrigerator will be coming. Here are some of the things that I ordered. My son uh, likes watches. He bought another watch, and he doesn't have the thing for the. So I just got this today. A tongue scraper. This is for scraping the tongues. I've used it. Uh, I purchased this, and it's uh, bigger than you probably think it is. Well, no, I think you get a good idea probably from. I mentioned this. I got. This is what I reason I ended up in the hospital. Well, not this one but the uh, bed frame. And I uh, scraped my, I was bumping my foot all the time on it uh, and banging my, because I walk around barefoot. And uh, so I had purchased this bed frame for my son and it, good price, and it was it's it is sturdy, and whatever, but they've been selling these for X amount of time, and they've been getting reviewed on Amazon. For, that's the problem, for years and years. So anyway, I go ahead and I just I'd ordered one. Uh, well, this is the one I ordered a few a week or so ago. Not longer than August. Wait, this is August. Oh, I see. That's return date that it's eligible. So anyway, the one he got and <coughs> that he put together in like 15 minutes or less, very sturdy. So I ordered the same one. Well, they've decided I guess they could cut the metal down in half, which I'm sure is going to lead to problems. Because then I read some of the reviews and several people laid down on it, you know. Snap, there went the metal. So that's the problem with these Amazon reviews. That, and two, the problem with these Amazon reviews, <clears throat> you'll be reviewing an item, one that has changed, a new model has come out, or you'll be, there'll be multiple models, and they all get reviewed, you know, together, and so you don't know. So anyway. I ordered in some towels and washcloths. This here, uh, long range USB, that's, well, you can see it right here. That works really well. And it work on, it's working under Linux for me and everything, so. What else? Let's see, breaking, we, do, we don't even want to see the news. Oh. So I guess that's it. Just wanted to uh, uh, number of hours here taking my night medications. I moved my Roku TV, which was back here. It's at the foot of my bed. Now, I 
very seldom, I very seldom watched it here, and I very seldom will watch it there. But I figured if I, well, not if, when I get down sick again and have some problems, maybe, maybe I could lie in bed and watch uh, Twit live or something else. Okay, going, oh, what I mentioned too. Oops. I've been having a problem with my uploading of uh, YouTube videos. I'll upload the video, it'll get to 19% or 7%, it, it could vary, you know, 9% upload or whatever. And then it'll sit there for, um, it'll sit there for hours. And this has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Just thought I'd give you some video or, you know, something to look at other than this. Um, then it just sits there for s several hours. And then usually what happens is it shows it's uploading. I go to the YouTube channel, my channel, and it'll show that uh, that it's, it still shows it's uploading, you know, 34% or whatever, but it'll say, you know, uploaded, waiting to process. Of course, it never processes. So I have to delete it and then do it over again. It's happening several times, a pain in the butt. And I'm not sure if it's a YouTube. I thought it was something to do with my setup. But somebody else told me that they had the very same, I hadn't mentioned it, they mentioned it, that they had the very same problem. So it may be a YouTube problem that they're not aware of and maybe they'll get it fixed. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, you know, I bought that 34 inch wide monitor. I used it for a week or so. I'm back to using my two Asus 1920 by 1080 monitors side by side. And uh, seems like it's working out better, but I may, tomorrow I may change uh, again. But uh, the problem was with that other monitor that some of these programs, when it came to uploading, uh, it's much easier just to have the stuff over here that I want you all to see and have this screen over here where I can have the uh, control for, uh, let's see, lower third, where I can have the control over here. Oh, I deleted that, didn't I? Well, that's not good. I just deleted that by accident a while ago. Well, add a new lower third. Let's see. Nah, I don't want to take your time doing that. I was going to show you how to make a lower third using Manicamp, but better just for me to end this because I, I think I need to scrape my tongue. Uh, thank you very much for watching.